consider the reaction of calcium carbonate with acetic acid. A solution containing acetic acid is mixed with 0 0.600 moles of calcium carbonate. Suppose the reaction produces 0 0.400 moles of carbon dioxide. How much calcium carbonate is left unreacted? A. 0 0.200 moles B. 0 0.400 moles or C. 0 0.800 moles. Two important things to know when solving a stoichiometry problem such as this are number one, the amounts of reactants and products involved are directly proportional. This means that the mole to mole ratio of any two substances involved in the reaction is constant. Number two, the mole to mole ratio of any two substances involved in the reaction is equal to the ratio of their coefficients in the balanced equation. In other words, the moles of substance 1, N1, over the moles of substance 2, N2, is equal to the coefficient of substance 1, C1, over the coefficient of substance 2, C2. If we know the moles of substance 2, we can solve for the moles of substance 1 using the rearranged formula. We can practice finding the amount of reactant consumed with acetic acid. Then we can answer the initial question. In the problem here, we are given the moles of carbon dioxide. The moles of acetic acid consumed is the unknown over the moles of carbon dioxide produced 0 0.400 moles equals the coefficient of acetic acid, which is 2, over the coefficient of carbon dioxide, which is 1. We can rearrange the equation to solve for the moles of acetic acid, which is equal to 0 0.800 moles. We can see that the ratio of the coefficients is essentially a conversion factor. In general, the known moles of a reactant or product multiplied by a conversion factor gives the moles of the other reactant or product, where the numerator of the conversion factor is the coefficient of the other reactant or product, and the denominator is the coefficient of the known reactant or product. Now that we have practiced finding the number of moles of acetic acid consumed, let's move on to answering the question at hand. To determine the number of moles of calcium carbonate consumed, we multiply the given moles of carbon dioxide by the conversion factor, which equals 0 0.400 moles. However, the question asks for the calcium carbonate remaining. Therefore, we take the starting amount of calcium carbonate, or 0 0.600 moles, and subtract the consumed number of moles of calcium carbonate, which is 0 0.400 moles. To find the remaining amount of calcium carbonate is 0 0.200 moles. Therefore, the amount of calcium carbonate left unreacted is A, 0 0.200 moles.